Solaire Resort and Casino, formerly known as Solaire Manila, is a resort and casino in Entertainment City, a massive complex built along the Bay City area of Parañaque, in Metro Manila, Philippines by way of a proclamation for tourism by H.E. President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The complex includes a five-star hotel with a total of 800 guest rooms, suites and villas. Solaire Resort and Casino was opened on March 16, 2013, the first of four casino resorts to open in the area. It is currently the tallest hotel in the Manila Bay area outside the city of Manila, a distinction previously held by Sofitel Philippine Plaza. Overview Solaire Resort and Casino was the first development to break ground in PAGCOR's Entertainment City, a massive integrated resort envisioned by former PAGCOR Chairman Ephraim Genuno for the Manila Bay area. The 120-hectare reclaimed area was designated as a special economic zone by the Philippine Economic Zone Authority. The resort is run by Bloomberry Resorts and Hotels Incorporated, a subsidiary of Schurst Properties, Inc., formerly Bloomberry Investments Holdings Inc., headed by Enrique K. Razon, Jr., Chairman of the Manila-based company, International Container Terminal Services Incorporated. The project required an investment commitment of $1.2 billion pursuant to a casino license from PAGCOR. History after Resorts World Manila was built in August 2009, the state-run Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation PAGCOR, issued a provisional license to Bloomberry Resorts and Hotels Incorporated. The facility was launched as Solaire Manila, and broke ground on July 2010. The hotel tower was topped out in June 2012 alongside a parking garage. In October 2012, Solaire Manila was renamed Solaire Resort and Casino, and Phase 1 was completed in the first quarter of 2013. Leading the official opening of Solaire Resort and Casino were President Benigno Aquino III, Bloomberry Resorts Corporation Chairman and CEO Enrique K. Razon Jr., Chairman of PAGCOR Cristino Nagat Jr. and other guests, inaugurating the Casino Resort at 1500 Pacific Standard Time GMT plus 8, on March 16, 2013 exactly 492 years after Ferdinand Magellan had arrived in the Philippines. Development The complex, covering a total of 8.3 hectares, 21 acres, houses two 17-story five-star hotels. The Bay and Sky Tower features a total of 800 rooms, suites and villas. Solaire features a column-free grand ballroom which can accommodate a maximum of 1,300 guests. The forum features eight function rooms and two boardrooms with audiovisual equipment. The complex includes 18,500 square meters, 199,000 square feet gaming area containing 1,620 slot machines and 360 gaming tables. The complex features convention facilities as well as leisure, live entertainment, dining and retail hubs. The project includes a second parking building, and the theater at Solaire, with 1,740 seats and retail space of 60,000 square meters. Solaire Resort and Casino was managed under a five-year contract by American firm Global Gaming Asset Management, which owned a 9% stake in the project, until September 2013. Solaire's COO Michael French was replaced by former Marina Bay Sands CEO Thomas Arasi, an arena which is to be part of the casino complex, was planned to be among the proposed venues for the Philippine hosting bid for the 2019 FIBA World Cup. Solaire Resort and Casino was designed by architect and designer Paul Steelman of Las Vegas-based Steelman Partners with interior design provided by Steelman Partners affiliate company DSAA, Dalton, Steelman, Arias and Associates, and the interior lighting design by Affiliate Shop 12. See also Gambling in Metro Manila References External links Global Vision Filipino Heart by Ivar Gika ISBN 971-92976-1-1 Solaire Resort and Casino